Welcome to Linear Rock Program with this phone call interview with Andreas Kisser from Sepultura in Della Tierra. Hi, Andreas. Hello, how are you? It's a pleasure to talk to you. It's a pleasure for me uh, to have this interview for uh, this uh, new particular project, uh, more Latin yes. than yes, more Latin than ever. When and how was born the idea to create this band, and what that made you instantly accept the role and this new challenge. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a big challenge. Um, it started uh, with uh, Andres Jimenez, the Argentinian musician who had the band Animal uh, back in the 90s. And uh, Alex Gonzalez, the drummer from uh, Mana, you yeah. know, the pop rock group from Mexico. And um, it started with the wish of, of, uh, of jamming some metal tunes, you know, just going to a room and, and have fun, you know. But that was like eight or nine years ago, you know, it started like that, just like with an idea of, of jamming. And then in 2012, finally, they, they went ahead and, and, and started to do something more serious. You know, instead of doing the jam, they wanted to do a band and, you know, to do metal, singing in Spanish. Um, and, uh, and they called Senor Flavio from the Fabulosos Cadillacs, which is a huge band in Argentina as well. And um, I, I was the last one to be to be invited to be a part of the group, you know. So uh, I really like the idea. I really like the challenge, and um, and we start exchanging demos, you know. Um, it's, it's not a project that was um, sponsored by any big uh, sponsorship or any reality show or TV, you know. It was was no managers involved, nothing like that, you know. Mm -hmm. It was just like four musicians who wanted to to jam and, and to do some stuff together. Um, and that's why I, I really liked uh, the idea. You know, we financed the project ourselves and we started exchanging demos, you know, through the Internet. And then finally, at uh, the, the beginning of last year, we met in Buenos Aires, you know, to, to, to practice and to play together, you mm -hmm. know. And the chemistry was really good. You know, we managed to arrange 10 songs. And then later we, we started recording and, you know, everything happened so quickly. And... Uh, and we're very happy with the results, you know, with the, the, the recording, with the songs, how they came up. Everybody participate on writing and, you know, music and lyrics. And it's, it's a great feeling, you know. It's uh, something, it's almost like starting something uh, new uh, uh, again. So it's like a, a feeling like um, you, you were a teenager again, you yeah. know. Yes. So, uh, it's really, really great feeling and we enjoy every, you know, every bit of it and, now the album is out, you know, very good uh, response, very positive response. And we're going to do the first shows with Metallica in South America. So, you know, it's really a great start. Great. De La Tierra moniker seems to show you are proud from your provenience. Is there any reason behind the choice of this name, Andreas? Yeah, I mean, the name really represents the, the place that we are from, you know, Amer Latin America. Yes. You know, South America, uh, North America, Central America, you know, that kind of a uh, struggle, you know, the, the Latin Americans had throughout history, you know, to, to fight for your identity and, you know, political stuff and dictatorships and stuff like that. So uh, we have a lot in common, you know, a lot more in common than we can imagine. Even Brazil, that is kind of uh, away from, from the Latin America world because of the, the language barrier, you know? Yes. I mean... Uh, something that we feel a part of the same type of family and stuff, you know. And De La Tierra is a type of name that uh, can give us freedom, you know, to try to do anything in music. Of course, the, the, the intention is to play heavy music, to play heavy metal, but at the same time we have freedom to, to try different things. And, uh, and um, you know, it's a name that is not really uh, uh, connected to any style, you know. Like I said, of course we like to play metal and stuff, but... Uh, I think the name gives us a, a lot of freedom to try anything. Yes. Lyrics will be sung both in Spanish and Portuguese. Who have the idea? Yeah. And why this choice uh, not sung um, right in English language? Yeah, because, I mean, it's much easier to, to communicate in your own native language. You yes. Know, and, uh, mm -hmm. and there's not, not such a band like this on the Spanish or Latin world. You know, they can mix both languages and... You know, they have such a weird and interesting mixture of musicians, you know, with different backgrounds and different styles and tastes in music. And, um, it, you know, I think it, it was great, you know, just to, to, to do 
in Spanish because English, I mean, it's it's so common, you know. Yes. I mean, Sepultura is from Brazil, but always use English, you know. And uh, Scorpions and Accept, the German bands that always use English, you know, that was our uh, our influence. But I don't know, I think nowadays, even in Brazil, we see a lot more bands singing in Portuguese, you know, or screaming in Portuguese and stuff. And I think um, it's it's really cool. I think it's more, um, how can I put it, uh, more natural, yes. you know, uh, to... to Really to express yourself in your own language, and it, 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 it musically also it brings a, a new, a, a different, um, you know, different melodies and stuff, different way of saying the words and etc. You know, so so it was much more interesting that for us to to keep that, you know. Right. You have talked about the members of the band: Alex from Mana, Sir Flavio from Los Fabulous Cadillacs. Uh, have a very different background than you and Andres. Is um, this, um, we can consider like a plus for the band? Yeah, I mean, they have a different background, but Alex, for uh, instance, the drummer from Mana, you know, he's a metal head, you know. He he grew up in um, listening to metal since he was very young. I mean, he does what he does in Mana. He does great, you know. He's one of the, the biggest fans in, in the world and um, singing in Spanish and everything. But he he <clears throat> he had the kind of metal wish. I mean, that's why he, he started with the idea to do something like that, you know, because he really wanted to put that out, you know. And he's an amazing metal drummer, you know. Really, he understands all the music and he knows all the history, the bands and everything. And and Flavio, of course, you know, from Fabio Bolosos Cadillacs, of course, is not coming from metal as well. But uh, I think he's the most original thing in metal for De La Terra, you know, the way he plays the bass. I mean, he's bringing some slaps and some two hands and lots of effects and stuff. And he's playing like in a totally different way, you know, yes. really bringing something new to the style. Yeah. And I think that's very interesting. You know, he plays bass not as a metal musician usually does, you know. So he's bringing something new to the, to the style. And I think that's, uh, that's amazing. Yes, right. With Sepultura, we can say you put the roots of the new metal. What is uh, De La Tierra's goal? Now, Terra's goal, I think, is to, to celebrate uh, the music we love, you know, in our own language and, um, and, and try to break that barrier, you know, not only playing in Spanish-speaking countries, you know, but uh, I think Rammstein is a really cool reference, you know, that didn't change their native language, but at the same time they conquer everywhere, you know, they play everywhere in the world regardless of the language, and I think that's amazing, you know, it's, it's really cool. So I think it's just to, to celebrate where we come from, you know, our, our countries and our heritage and culture and, and have a good time. I mean, that's the, the basic, uh, the main objective, you know, to have really a good time and, and, and enjoy what we do, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, everything started so, so well and now we're going to be at the stage for the first time and very excited about, you know. So the goal is to, to really celebrate heavy metal and... and celebrate at the same time the place we are come from, you know. Yes. You have worked with the Stanley Soares like engineer, and um, he worked with Sepultura in the past. How different was for you and him to collaborate this time? Uh, sorry, with who? Yeah, with Stanley Soares. Uh, that you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Stanley is a, it's a, it's a guy who's been working with Sepultura for so many years, you yes. know. Yes. Uh, I know him very well. He knows the style very well. One of the best uh, PA technicians and also great in the studio. You know, we record some Sepultura albums with him, like Dante <coughs> and Alex, you know. So, um, and uh, the guys from De La Terra really like the recording and the style and stuff. So I called him to, to be a part of this and it was great. You know, he did an amazing job for the, the stuff that we had. You know, we work in Buenos Aires and Sao Paulo. He makes all the album and everything, so uh, yeah, it was 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 perfect. You know, he he really understands the style, the music, and and um, he also is going to be our our PA technician live and stuff. You know, so he knows really well the music. I think um, it worked out great. You know. Yes. Are you going to play in tour? And maybe have you already planned any show in Europe for the next summer? Yes, definitely. I mean, the idea is to go everywhere. You know, I think we, we, we're starting with Metallica in South America now. And um, the idea is to, to do, of course, like uh, uh, Mexico. We have the Vive Latino Festival on the, uh, March 29th. And then the idea is to go to the United States to do some dates. And, and hopefully, you know, 
at the end of April and May we're going to have more European dates. I know we have a festival in Spain on May 1st and I think a gig in London on April 30th, uh -huh. but it's uh, still to be confirmed, you know, but uh, hopefully we have more European dates for sure. I mean, that's the idea. Okay. You also just released a new Sepultura album on Nuclear Blast in October. How can you, uh -huh. de how can you deal and commit to both bands the best at this point with both albums out? Well, just organized, you know, the, yeah. the, the calendar and uh, in advance, you know, with time to everybody to, to, to organize everything, really, you know. And uh, since last year, uh, you know, I was writing the Sepultura material and recording the La Terra at the same time in Sao Paulo and stuff. And, and everything worked out great, you know. Just have time, really, to organize everything and, and commit, you know, to those arrangements and everything really flows, you know. So hopefully... Uh, we have uh, this continuum this year. You know, so far, so good. I mean, I'm, I'm on tour with Sepultura right now for six weeks in Europe, and then I go find the La Tierra. Then I go back to Sepultura in May. We have June festivals, and, and there's a possibility to do the La Tierra and Sepultura together oh, as well. You know, the same shows and maybe some festivals and stuff. So let's see what happens, you know. So, is, so far, so good. It's a big work for you play to play to show <laughs> in, in one Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's a privilege, you know, <laughs> to, to be a part of such great bands, you know. So yes, right. See what happens. <laughs> last, yes, last question, Andreas. Uh, three years ago, you played a big four together in Antrax, replacing Scott Yen. What yeah. kind? Yes, what kind of memory you have on that experience and how was the atmosphere in the backstage with the four Titans band of Trash Metal? Oh, it was great, man. You know, it was like uh, backstage was just like everybody felt like kids, you know, again. You know, uh, all the bands really enjoying the, 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 the tour and, you know, they, they, they are friends, you know, for so many years. And, and you know, for me, it was a, an honor to be a part of it and a privilege, you know, to be at the Big Four and two weeks with Anthrax and stuff and... You know, it was just great vibes, great feeling, and I only have, like, really great memories, you know. Uh, I prepared myself very well to be uh, at this show and to do everything, and and was amazing, you know. Right. I only have to thank them to, to, to think about my name, and, we, you know, we yes. survived. <laughs> thank you very much, Andrea. See you, I hope, also in Italy for a, a show with uh, Della Thank you very much, man. Okay. Thank you very much, man.